Well, hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about a big one, the future of the automotive world, more specifically talking about Porsche and synthetic fuels and how this tech could keep the internal combustion engine alive. As the world keeps pushing for a more sustainable future, the automotive industry has been a place of innovation, research, and development for that future. We're seeing the change happen right in front of our eyes with electrification taking the world by storm and every single automotive manufacturer having to cut emissions through exhaust regulations and downsizing engines. For us car enthusiasts, the love of a naturally aspirated V12 screaming or just banging through the gears of the manual transmission is a future we'd all love to have but does not look so bright. Although, Porsche may just have our back. They've been working in collaboration with ExxonMobil on a synthetic fuel which they personally believe has the potential to be as clean as electric vehicles. Well, the answer is actually quite simple, but there are a couple of factors that come into play. Number one being that Porsche still believes the internal combustion engine will be a significant part of the automotive industry in future years. Michael Steiner, the head of R&D and a member board himself actually quoted, this technology is particularly important because the combustion engine will continue to dominate the automotive world for many years to come. And the second reason is that Porsche believes electrification itself won't be able to handle the stress load necessary for a sustainable future. Michael Steiner also said, with electricity alone, you cannot move forward fast enough. What Michael Steiner means by this is that electrification will take years to fully implement itself within our infrastructure. And on top of that, we already have an infrastructure built for a liquid fuel to be used as the primary energy source for transportation, thus creating a synthetic fuel that can work in that infrastructure can save millions, even billions of dollars and crucial time. The fuel is sourced from the Haru-1 pilot plant in Chile that Porsche announced late last year. The plant uses wind-generated electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then combined with atmospheric carbon dioxide to produce methanol. ExxonMobil is providing a license and support for the proprietary technology to convert the methylene to gasoline, which will result in a lower carbon fuel. In simple terms, CO2 is taken out of the atmosphere combined with other things to create this fuel, but that whole process is made in a power plant in Chile through a sustainable and clean energy process, and that's why it's carbon neutral, because when the fuel is burned, the same amount of carbon that was taken out of the atmosphere gets put back into the atmosphere. In the pilot phase, about 130,000 liters of this e-fuel will be produced in 2022. Well, currently Porsche and ExxonMobil have partnered to test these lower carbon fuels in race conditions. More specifically, they're going to be used in the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup Series for the 2021 and the 2022 season. In this current season, they're using the first iteration of this e-fuel that ExxonMobil and Porsche have developed. The year after, in the 2022 season, Porsche and Exxon are preparing to use the second iteration of this e-fuel. The second iteration is, and I quote, anticipated to achieve a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions of up to 85% when blended to current market fuel standards for today's passenger vehicles. Now that is a statistic I'm exceptionally excited about. The short answer to this is yes, but clearly the future of synthetic fuels lies on much more than a simple yes. The process to create these synthetic fuels has a lot of steps, and this means energy is lost through each step. 
Michael Steiner even admits that it is far more efficient to simply charge an electric car with regenerative energy directly on the spot than to use it to produce a synthetic fuel in an elaborate process. However, he does not want to accept this argument forever either. He quoted, if humanity succeeds in using the regenerative energy that is available in surplus worldwide, we can prioritize sustainability over efficiency. Nonetheless, what's still clear is that there isn't a direct winner in the future provider of energy for transportation. Hydrogen fuel cells, hydrogen combustion, electrification, and synthetic fuels all have their pros and cons. Despite all that, one thing is for sure, and that is that Porsche will pursue the development of synthetic fuels. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, drop a question down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please go and like and subscribe. 90% of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed yet, so go subscribe, please. And I would love for you guys to check out my Instagram. I'll pop it up right here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.